I mean, all Superman had to do to open the elevator was just stick his blades between the doors. Automatically open. Unless there's one of those elevators here that wouldn't do that. What, 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 what the fuck kind of elevator do you think this is? This is on all, with, with the fences? Oh no, this elevator is nothing to do. I'm talking okay. about the one Scissor Man had in. Fuck oh. RPS one. Yay, oh, how, mirror. How, how fast do you think Scissor Man is? Sure, he may oh, be a demon. I guess demon. we did get another saw, though. Well, saying the guy's like, no more safe points. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, not complaining. Looks like the guy is wrong. Again. Just like you. Unless they patched in more Savos, could be like some sort of pre patch guide. Pre guide patch. When we jump. Your day just keeps getting worse. Just keeps getting better and better. Mm hmm. Wandering around, die. You're just wandering, wandering around. Doctor Reed, you're just a pathetic copy of yourself. Mm. Thing the guy was wrong, and we had a Sava not too far back. Well, that's what guides do, they're wrong. Celeste was a wise one. I don't think you share that attribute. Bye bye. Yes. Okay. So we got out of that little scuffle, I guess. Now we're two. Yourself one thing. Can we make it out of this alive? I hope. Oh no, that, that'd be silly. Why would we do that? Surprise, motherfucker. What is. You know what? Nothing mind. Especially just showed up. 
while she's near us. Certainly, Dr. Reed doesn't just try and capacitate this bitch. Because then we wouldn't have a game. I know, I know. Putting real world logic to a game. We're almost home free. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that made me jump too. That was a fucking whore. I mean, aren't you? It's like every time we get a little bit farther, then nope, die. Damn trial and error bullshit. You know, maybe if we ask really nicely, they'll just let us go. You think that'll work, Di? Y yeah. Celeste was a wise one. I don't think you share that attribute. I can't. No! Why, why, why don't you do it? I'm sure it'll work. You'll be fine. There for a minute. Well, we switch it this day. Who's away? Damn it. I'm sensing a theme here. Yes, the theme is it's not a clock tower game unless you die copious amounts of times near the end. Final boss in CT3, final section of Haunting Ground, uh, final chapter of Night Cry. Well, the whole game died there because it's not block. Yeah. And you died on the inside.
of a bitch. Why does it have to be close by a damn ladder at the at the other part? What if we you think if we get to the ladder we're home free? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. All that matters to the viewer hours the sun will be out. Ow. My arm just cracked. Yes, this is the final section. I can't see. Uh, anyway. so, typical clock tower game. It's not a lot in first fear, actually, too, at this point. Are you feared? have things to do, places to be, okay? You already put us through hell with your stupid QTE section. Can you just cut us a break and, and let us get past this bitch? Yeah, but that sounds a little lame. So it's just gonna cut you instead. Does that sound fair? No, it, it really doesn't. Okay, then, it'll, then it will do it. Help if when we died we started a little closer. Dr. Reed, you're just a pathetic copy of yourself. You're trapped in here. You can't escape. Coward, you fucking coward. Oh, Dr. Reed. Yeah, but what you're fun would that be? She's just repeating herself now. She's stuck in a perpetual loop. I said climb up the fucking ladder, you stupid cunt! See, if it wasn't for the boss being there, I would have climbed up the ladder to safety. I always say that you fucking game. After this, get the power on, go back to that thing, cutscene end, blah blah blah, game over. We're done. Yeah, the problem is though, is we still have to get past this fucking section.
fucking moth man. Well, Tower 3 and Butterflies, Haunted the Ground have movement essence, this game is damn moths. See, Mothman is real. You did the same with the others! You burnt them all! With no repentance! No! Please! On read, prove you're deserving of being a survival girl at the end of this. They will prove nothing. Well, they're doing that so far. Ugh. You're trapped in here. You can't escape. You're trapped in here. You can't escape. So how's everyone else's night been going? It's definitely going alright. Just like you. The soft moth. Like a moth to the flame. Oh, don't feel bad. I can't see for shit either. You don't hear me crying about it. Come on! 
go. Oh, how much longer is this damn section? We're out. Yes! The Cowboy Bebop Fall. was created as an anti-psychotic drug for war veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. To forget the horrors. As the father who ruined his daughter's life, forcing her to live as a man. Melton is just like all of us. He was a victim. He could only count on the results of the experiments of the plantation. When they withdrew the drug from the market because of its crazy side effects. <laughs> Wyman, that fucking bastard. Synthesizing parasites and mixing them with the drug only showed him he could do better. That it was possible to modify and control memories. Our memories. 
But we were only able to control the moths and be sick, very sick. And those damn memories would come up again sooner or later. Now I understand. Felton always tell the truth. He just wanted to protect Celeste from all of this, from himself, from his Jennifer. The sessions were for her to just forget. Forget everything forever. And he was the one to push her to leave. And eventually, she did. She ran away. But I still have unanswered questions. It's not too late. This is not your end yet. It may be the end of everything. And maybe we're already dead. And neither of us knows it. <laughs> I'm not the one who is crazy here. Maybe we both are. You could have been one of us. No, I couldn't have. Yes, you could have, sister. But I could never forget that day. All the screams, the flames. How could you? You wanted to propagate it as a sign of God. This was not a gift. This was not from God. It was fucking stupid science. And those two things have never been compatible. We believed it. It's true. And we were wrong. But you left us there to die. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember. It's all confusing enough. I, I don't... Anyway, it's over now. No. I don't want to die rotting in hatred. I've hated all my life. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter who you were, what we were. You are what you have become. Look at yourself. I'm nothing like this. This is all just farce, discount store garbage. Save our memories from oblivion. She is still alive. You will find her. I know you will find her on top of the world. What? If God is real, I hope he is made of this love. I hope you will both forgive me one day. I already have. Smoke. Forgiveness.
So, do you have fun, Goku? Still cutscene. What was in the bag? What did she find? A goodbye. A goodbye that spoke of hope. Hope? Do you mean to say that, despite everything, she was not resigned to the idea of finding her? No. Not at all. No credits. Okay. So yeah, that was remothered. Um, honestly, this game is better than Night Cry from a gameplay standpoint. The problem is that fucking QT section. That, that wasn't a problem. That was a feature. Dude, the X button was burned onto the screen. Whose fault is that? The devs? The Unreal Engine 4. Come on. Unreal Engine 4 shit. No one uses it. Not even MK11 uses it. They use a modified version of the three. But yeah, game's story was interesting. Um, the voice acting was honestly much better than Night Cries. <laughs> no! Wait! No! Wait! Well, not if we could be a badass like Leonard. But hey, next steps we mother broken porcelain, and yeah, we, we've all heard things. The thing. I. It, like, with how busted that QTE section was, I'm really, really worried to see how fucked Broken Porcelain is. Hmm. But otherwise, it's a fine game. Well, I'd say if you're into horror games, especially like Clock Tower, it's worth it. Into horror games? What? Not what I said. Oh, please. No one out there is into Clock Tower. We hard press to find someone who's heard of Clock Tower. Someone really needs to pay to get the full license to Clock Tower. Just find a way to remaster them or something. Oh, Capcom, where's our Haunted Ground remaster? On the Japanese PSN... Oh wait, that's how you no, get it No, it's just a PS2 PS classic. I, I mean, that's how you get it for a reasonable price. Oh wait, that's how you get Demento, not Haunting Ground. Yeah, like, they put Haunting Ground up on the Japanese PSN as a PS2 game, but not on the English one. It's the same with the Clock Tower games, actually. You could find First Fear PS1, Clock Tower 2, and Ghost Head on the Japanese PSN. Like, you guys can't put those up over here? No. Those games are all expensive as fuck, so if you didn't get them back in the day, they're a pain in the ass to track down. Oh. But why? I mean, if you think about it, it's, it is kind of stupid. The Night Cry and Remothered, two games that were basically successors to Clock Tower, are easily accessible, yet the series they're inspired by... you basically have to emulate, because there's no real way to get your hands on them. Yeah... But this one doesn't ha this one doesn't have enough orphan me. Zero out of ten. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this one 
if you're into camp and silliness, other than naked old man ass, this uh, did not, uh... Night Cry wins out in that one. Has way more silliness, it's stupid. Apparently Remothered is supposed to be a trilogy or something too, like, that's the plan. But, with how negative Broken Porcelain's been received, I... we'll see. Damn, are these credits still going? I think we're nearing the end. Yeah. When show Unreal Engine logo if we aren't reaching the end? Okay. A piece of shit engine, don't use it. Yeah, that's a fun game. Despite us getting a little frustrated at some of the stalker getting sections, axed. honest. Yeah, the, like the stalker sections are fine. It's it's that QT event. Did you know this is Remother Tormented Fathers? Tormented Fathers. Yeah, let's see if we have a scene. Uh... Mm -hmm. I tried pushing X at this, so I'm... Whoa. Go, get your mic's cutting out bad. So, it, that, I think that's it. When I press X, it said skip. Uh-oh. -uh. Is it letting it's you? It's just sitting on the logo. Can you skip this shit? <laughs> I don't know, Mass Finds or something. Congratulations, you have it through the horrors that... Unwind in the Fulton's Mansion. Your reward for surviving is the artwork that you can find in the main menu. Catch a glimpse of into the artistic part of the game design. That's how you unlock. Oh, all right. Let me quickly skim through the art no. gallery. We we've been doing that at all these games that have it. Just go away. Get done. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, guys, what the hell we got? This game doesn't have any alternate costumes. The rival, the, the, the floor map, the hall, the ground floor corridors, mostly all the shit that we've been through. Okay, no, I thought it was going to be concept art to like show us what these places used to look like or something. No. Characters. Huh. Yeah, that's something Night Crying this we're missing, alternate costumes. Hot Tower 3 and Haunted Ground had them. And two, but you for you. Yeah, you yeah. Clock Tower Two on PS One apparently had them, but it's really obscure to unlock them. It's really stupid. But all right, guys, that was Remothered again. Some frustrating moments, but overall, I still think it's an okay game. Next up will be Remothered Broken Porcelain, and uh. Not gonna lie, dreading that one a little bit, but I'm also curious to see where the story goes, so I guess we'll find out. In the prequel sequel? Uh. Well, thanks again for watching, guys, and let us know what you thought of Remother. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. Till next time. Hope you all have a good day. Bye! See ya.